I've always colored outside the lines, so I'm going to talk about two teachers here. When I was in the, the fifth grade, I guess I was 11 years old, I hated school so much that I ditched and I went to an orange grove near my house and read science fiction books all day. And of course that lasted one day because the school called my parents. And my parents came in and said, it's, it's not him, it's you, and took me out of the school and put me into the school where my mother taught as the art teacher. And I went into my new fifth grade teacher's class. Her name was Mrs. Birch. And she said, we're putting out our, our class newspaper and somebody needs to interview the principal. Can you go do that? That was the first thing she said to me. So I went and interviewed the principal and uh, he was impressed that I could spell the word principal. So did I become a writer because of that? Or did she just sense that was something I liked to do? I, I don't know. But uh, after the fifth grade, I went back to, uh, to, to being a troublemaker. I guess you would say I was a troublemaker because I couldn't sit still in a desk for eight hours a day. Uh, I, th I think it's unreasonable to expect children to do that. In my school, if you were trouble, either you were too smart or you were too criminal, they sent you to the art room. All of the, the classrooms in my school in Phoenix, Arizona in the 1950s were very buttoned down, very quiet. All the desks were in a row, everybody obeyed. Uh, and if you didn't, you went to the art room, which was complete chaos, and clay was flying through the air, and there was always music on. And my mom was the art teacher, Mrs. Rheingold, and her philosophy was that we are all artists, that everyone needs to express themselves creatively. But at some point when we're very young, somebody shuts us down, they look over our shoulder and say, well, that doesn't look like a horse, you can't be an artist. Uh, so she taught permission before she taught technique, and that's that has changed and, and shaped my entire life. So thank you, Mrs. Birch, and, and thank you, Mrs. Reingold.